Republicans are kind of thankful for Biden and, and previously Barack Obama. I mean, it was Obama's presidency that gave us Trump the first time, and it's Joe Biden's presidency that made Donald Trump stronger than ever. So we just want to say thank you to Obama. <laughs> Can and I to leave? Biden. A human. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for watching. It's been a few days since Trump's mega red tsunami, and I just wanted to take a moment to say that after my 15-year mission of trying to expose and discredit the Democrat Party state media, I think we can finally call it a success. Very exciting time. But make no mistake, they won't quit just because everyone sees them for the propagandists they are. They still have influence over way too many people, and they will use that over the next four years to peel away support from Donald Trump. So I won't be going anywhere, and neither will Scott Jennings, who I regret ever calling milk toast. You think Biden was a key factor in Trump's victory? Of course. I mean, he, you know, he's had an under 40 percent approval rating since August of 2021. The American people have been very unhappy with him. But on top of that, what I find particularly troubling is that all these Democrats who are now looking back on Biden and oh, he shouldn't have run, he shouldn't have done this. These are the same people who were all too happy to go on television every day and tell us that Joe Biden was sharp as a tack. Everything was fine. He was up to everything. And we now know there's huge amount of evidence that he wasn't, that he really was diminished, that he really wasn't up to the job. And yet they were pushing that campaign forward anyway. They finally dumped him after the debate when they couldn't hide it anymore. To me, the reckoning here is, when did everybody know Joe Biden was diminished? Why did they lie for so long? And are we gonna get a full accounting of that? So I don't think Democrats have anyone to blame here but themselves. Joe Biden's gonna go down in history as a pretty terrible president, I believe. And on top of that, if you're a Democrat, you think about how he ran his campaign the first time. I'm running to restore the soul of the nation, to rid us of Trump and Trumpism. Today, Donald Trump is stronger than he's ever been, more popular, and his agenda is ascendant in our politics. It is a complete and total political failure. I mean, Van, that last part of what Scott just said is true. I mean, Trump it did win and, and is more ascendant than he's ever been, even despite January 6th, well, you, even you, despite you, you, all the stuff. Did you think I didn't hear it when Scott was saying it? <laughs> <laughs> like, he just wanted this, yes. Just, I, what do you want me to do? I, can I leave? <laughs> Let me quickly add what Scott Jennings couldn't because he obviously works at CNN because it obviously wasn't just Democrats lying to the country about Joe Biden. It was also their media who dutifully propagandized the country with that lie. Biden is actually in good shape. Right, mentally he's quite acute. Any aide who engages with him or reporters, we can see this. The gears of his mind are working. The right wing media has so fixated on Biden and Biden purportedly having cognitive issues. It's not just making an issue of Biden's age, it's, it's lying. It's saying he's senile, saying he's demented, saying he's out of it. Russian television has been filled with speculation about President Biden's age, about his mental state of mind. That's an issue uh, pushed by uh, uh, right-wing media, but it's not correct. Yeah, you know, Republicans on the, on the other side have spent four years almost kind of weaponizing Biden's age against him. Trump is not that much younger than him. Biden is just a couple of years older than Donald Trump. Why, do, why so much attention on Biden's age? Trump isn't much younger. This whole vein is, is really, <laughs> really unseemly. I mean, ageism. I'm going to say quite bluntly, there is some ageism going on here. Yeah, I think there is some ageism going on. How about new? They've lied about a lot of things, nearly everything. There needs to be a reckoning for that. And while I applaud everything Scott Jennings is saying here, he simply can't go far enough because again, he works at CNN. Bottom line, don't ever forget that ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, PBS, NPR, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and all the rest of them lied to you in order to protect Democrats from accountability and quite literally either in prison or murder their main opponent before an election. Republicans are kind of thankful for Biden and, and previously Barack Obama. I mean, it was Obama's presidency that gave us Trump the first time, and it's Joe Biden's presidency that made Donald <laughs> Trump stronger than ever. So we just want to say thank you to Obama <laughs> Can and I to leave? Biden. We just want to say thank you guys. You guys have delivered us, and we're going to have American patriotism and economic oh my, optimism again, and it goes right back to Obama Biden. So thank you guys. Hey, human. <laughs> what are you going to do for the next two years? How Therapy? do we regroup? <laughs> therapy. We're all going to therapy. Uh, why, why are we here? Right now, 
they have everything. They got the Supreme Court, they got the Electoral College, they got the House, they got probably they got the Senate, they got the popular vote, and we're just sitting here with the dunce cap on. Last, <laughs> this time last week, we thought we were the smartest people in the world. We thought Donald Trump was an idiot. We thought his campaign made no sense, and it turned out they were smarter than us, and we don't have anything to say to you. Now, I can sit here and pretend I know something. Here's what I know. Everybody I know is miserable. Everybody's on these Zoom calls. Nobody's got any good ideas, and we're, it's going to take us a while to figure this out. It's over. We are screwed. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.